Well, John, it felt good to be back at Memorial Stadium as the Clemson Tigers hit the field for their annual Orange and White Spring football game and fans were indeed in the stands and 19,000 set capacity with seats socially distant and fans told me that they were just excited to be back here watching in person versus watching from home. For me, it's just about my family and getting to let them see a football game. So my little two year old has been saying Clemson football game this whole time we're walking up. So that's what it's about for me. Oh, I'm, I'm ready for it. I mean, I'm, I'm actually waiting on the tickets for the Georgia game. If it comes out and I can get the tickets, I'm going to be there in a heartbeat no matter how much it is. And like he said, all eyes are on that first game September 4th when Clemson takes on Georgia in Charlotte, North Carolina. But today we got a nice preview at what Clemson looks like. Now, offensively, they lost six starters, including running back Travis Etienne, the all-time leading rusher in ACC history, and quarterback Trevor Lawrence. So all eyes was on that QB position. DJ Ua Angalale threw for Orange and Tyson Pumachan threw for White with Hunter Helms getting reps for both. But DJ had an outstanding first half. Orange led 10 to 0 at halftime, but Pumachan really stepped things up late in the fourth and put his team in scoring position. But he did indeed go down with a lower leg injury and did not return. But White was able to capitalize and they got that final touchdown, which put them in the lead. And that's how White ended up winning 14 to 13. But when it comes to that quarterback position, everyone's wondering who's going to be under snap that first game. And Davo did make an announcement earlier this week that he doesn't intend on going in the transfer portal and that he's content with the guys that he has now. So that quarterback competition will definitely be something to look forward to later on. But as of right now, Clemson looks solid and it just honestly felt good to watch some Clemson football and have fans back in the stands and get that sense of normalcy. Reporting from Memorial Stadium, Jasmine McCoy, News 2 Sports.